Hello YouTube, Reservoir Warrior here with my first ever uh, manga review for the channel. This one was actually requested by a viewer, and I'm actually glad I got this request. If you guys remember from my, from my manga haul, I believe this was the last manga I showed that I uh, bought, and that was uh, Inspector. And on my list, it was, I think, one of the last mangas I was going to get to to reading, but... One of, them, one of my viewers commented on that video and said they were really uh, curious about how it was because they wanted to pick it up, but they wanted to hear someone's opinion on it first. So, uh, I actually wanted to get this video out on Sunday, but I didn't have enough time to read it. I had enough time over the past couple days to finish it. Uh, finish, a lot, uh, finish the rest of it today, and I really do like it. I'm not sure if all my uh, future manga reviews are going to be uh, like PowerPoint presentation like this one. I mean, this isn't PowerPoint, it's Open Office's version of PowerPoint, but whatever. And uh, basically, you would just see a slideshow of images. And um, yeah, there really weren't that many for Inspector, though. I guess it is fairly new. I'm assuming it doesn't have an anime. It might get an anime. I hope it does. But, I mean, after reading this first volume, I'm very happy with it. Um, for those of you wondering about spoilers, I can't say this is spoiler-free, but I can say that there aren't any major spoilers. wrote down some notes here, just so it's easier for me to explain everything. And what was weird about this manga is there's only two chapters. Chapter 1 being titled, if I can remember the name, one Eye, One Leg, uh, which starts at page 3, and then second chapter, Rumors of the Steel Man, start at 87, and then there's Bonus Manga, which I'll get to at the end. But I'll just read the uh, description on the back, which you're pretty much going to read if when, when you pick up the manga. Anyway, it says, Kindred Spirits, 17-year-old Kotoko has a unique situation. When she was a child, she was kidnapped by spirits called a yokai, and returned missing one leg and one eye. Since then, she has been able to communicate with otherworldly worldly forces. I can read. Both benevolent benel benel and dangerous. Kotoko is alone in her power until she learns that the crush she's watched from afar, Kuro, has had his own encounter with the yokai. With yokai. As if being touched by supernatural wasn't enough, Kuro's personal life is also in shambles. With their shared experiences and understanding, Kotoko and Kuro form a partnership to deal with mysteries, from ancient demons to the ghosts of an idol. But for a girl who's used to dealing with spirits, winning love might prove to be the bigger challenge. Yeah, it's interesting how they mention the ghosts of an idol. So I guess mentioning that isn't really going to be much of a spoiler as much as I thought it'd be. But anyway, let's get on with it, shall we? So, apparently, Kotoko knew Kuro before. Uh, mind you, Kotoko always is in the hospital because... Or, she always goes to the hospital because, well, I mean... She has a prosthetic leg and she lost an eye, so of course she always has to go to the hospital. But, um, Kuro is always there to visit a uh, sick cousin, who we still don't know what's the matter with his cousin. Why are they always in the hospital? What happened to them? Yada, yada, yada. It's funny because she mentions, uh, she, she compares, uh, Kuro to a goat, which is funny. Uh, you, you'll see that in the manga, uh, you'll read that in the manga, though. And then, as it said on the back, she instantly falls in love with Kuro. But, at this point in time, he already has a girlfriend named Saki. And, Kutok, or, Kuro and Saki, uh, both went to the, uh, go to the same law school. We then later find out he, uh, or Saki broke up with Kuro, and then straight up, uh, once Kotoko finds it out, she just straight up, straight up asks Kuro out. I'm like, damn, I wish I had your confidence, girl. And you're like, what, 17, I think? Right? I think. Yeah, she's 17 at one point in the, uh, one point in the manga, in the manga. It, it, it time skips, I don't know why, it just does, 
I think Kuro is 20... 22? I think Saki is a year or two older. But anyway. Uh, while on a trip with Saki, the two encounter a uh, Kappa. Which was, like, really interesting, so we learn more about what happened with Kuro in the past. Or a little bit. Um... After seeing Kuro, the Kappa runs away, and Saki breaks up with him because of this. She, she says things like, you're not the type of guy I really should be going out with, and they just she just breaks up with him then. We learn more later on about the breakup in detail. And then we also learn more about um, Kotoko's past. And then Kotoko and Kuro actually encounter a yokai, and... Kotoko tries beating it up with a fire extinguisher, which didn't work out so well. And they were shocked that this yokai didn't run away once they saw Kuro, and that's because once once anything is on a rampage, they're, they're not going to like pay attention to anything around them. They're just going to keep going on their rampage and not give a damn. <laughs> and then um, Kuro actually kills the yokai, and we learn more about his past. Like I said, I'm trying to make this uh, not... Let me rephrase that. I'm trying not to make this super... Scratch that. <laughs> I'm not trying to add so many spoilers in this review. I probably will in future ones, but not for this one, because like I said, this is for someone who wants to read the manga. What's the point of spoiling it? I mean, yeah, I mean, that could be said about, like, my future ones, like Akami Got Kill Zero and whatnot. But, for this, you, you can also consider it basically like a first impressions. But like I said, since this is for someone who's curious about it, you don't really want to spoil it for them. That's messed up. I'm not that type of guy. Come on. <laughs> but, how, like, uh, how Kuro kills it, I'm not going to explain. Then we later find out that Kuro ate mermaid meat when he was 11, which allows his body to heal instantly, as well as other things, but he ate another type of uh, kappa meat, and he thinks that basically took away some of, uh, I guess we could say, powers he got from eating the mermaid meat. And it is just raining all of a sudden. I, I don't I, Weird. Weather's weird. Uh, lost my train of thought for a sec, I'm sorry. <laughs> After talking more about uh, Kuro's past, the story fast forwards two and a half years later, and this is when chapter two starts. So basically, chapter one, we're introduced to Kuro, and of course, K to Kotoko. Um, we learn about the hospital and whatnot, why both of them are basically, or what, what problems both of them had, we learned more about their past, and then we get a little action. What I love about this manga is how story-driven it is. I mean, in this first chapter, you're, or in this first volume, you're really not going to see too much action. You probably will later on, but I, I like that about it. That's what actually wanted me to uh, keep on reading and reading and not put it down. It's like, I, I want to know what happens next and everything. So, yeah, I guess you could say it has that, has a little bit of suspense there, but, uh, we, so, after the two and a half year time skip, we find out Saki didn't end up becoming a traffic officer, and that she still has feelings for Kuro, even though she broke up with him. And then, and then basically she meets up with one of her colleagues and they, you know, talk and blah, blah, blah. Like, oh, how come you didn't go out to get uh meet with me and whatnot? And she's like, I can't eat meat. It reminds me of my ex-boyfriend. He's like, hey, how about next? But she's like, but I'm going to try to eat meat now. That would, I'm trying to move on from him. So I'm going to try to eat meat now. And she threw it up. And then uh, he asked her if uh, you want to go out for sushi. She's like, no, that reminds me. No, seafood reminds me of my ex too. I'm like, damn, girl, then. Why did you break up with him if that's the case? She then asks uh, Tirado, which is her co colleague, if 
He thinks ghosts and yokai actually exist in their world. It's pretty safe to say she does. But I mean, if she were to say that to other people, that she believes in this stuff, they think she's crazy and whatnot. And then they talk about this uh, steel lady who is pretty much like an idol. Like I said, I don't want to go too much into that. I mean, it did say on the back of the book that to Ghost of an Idol, that's what Steel Lady is. They talk more, of course, in detail about the Steel Lady in the manga. I hear repeating myself, but like I said, trying to avoid as many spoilers as possible. <coughs> Saki then spots Kotoko, uh, saves her from falling, which is kind of a deja vu moment because in the beginning, um, Kuro was actually going to fall. Koro's actually starting to fall backwards. Normal slanted on his head until Kotoko saved him. Or Kotoko saved Yeah. Thought I said that wrong. <laughs> but then uh, Kotoko tells Saki to run because Steel Lady is coming. And of course, Saki tries to cowardly fight Steel Lady. After she, you know, she kept talking about her and wanting to, I guess, encounter Steel Lady. And then basically, Kotoko ends up killing, or not not killing, you know, and after a little bit of fighting, the Steel Lady just runs away. And then Kotoko realizes, maybe we cannot kill her with, uh, force, like physical force. Uh, Kotoko then finds out she realized Saki because Saki was going to take her to the station since she was banged up a bit. She was, like, scared because she saw... Kotoko's prosthetic leg come out, but she's like, oh no, that, but uh, Kotoko said basically, oh no, that usually happens when uh, situations occur like this. It purposely does that, that way it don't get into more danger. And she just puts it back in place. Everything's alright. But Asaki's like, no, don't worry, I'm not gonna tell anybody about this, uh, about what happened with the Steel Lady and whatnot. I don't know if we can actually trust her on that or not. Getting to my last points of the volume. I'm like, wow. This volume even ended on a cliffhanger. Great. I kind of like that, though, because it makes me want to pick up volume 2, which... I don't know if it's out or not. I mean, online, I saw pictures of the cover for volume 2. I think I saw volume 3 and volume 4 as well. I'm going to actually look up right now on Barnes & Noble's website if... Uh, I can find out when... Volume 2 comes out. But I'll continue uh, continue talking about uh, Kotoko and Saki after that. She's like, oh, damn, you're Saki? She's like, why did I help you? Like, after all the crap you did to uh, Kuro, I help you? Really? She's like, I wish I did it. And then she's like, wait, how do you know me? She's, and Kotoko's like, well, you don't remember me from the hospital and whatnot? She's like, yeah, I know you because of your uh, ex-boyfriend, Kuro. And before I get to my final... Uh, before I get to my final point here. Almost spelt the... Uh, I almost spelt it Inspector instead of Inspector. It's spelled I-N-S-P-E-C-T-R-E. And then there's a slash, but... So yeah, Volume 1 came out back in November, actually. So I'm kind of late. Oh, Volume 2 came out January 10th. Cool. So they'll probably be in my next manga haul. Volume 3 will come out in March on the 28th. Where's Volume 4? I like how it says Volume 3 and then Volume 5. Oh, Volume 4 in May. Alright, so it looks like they're coming out within two months of each other. So that's not bad. It's not bad of a wait. And on the website, I can see it goes all the way up to 7. So that's good. I don't know if it's going to end at 7 or not, but like I said, if this ever does become an anime, or if it is an anime, I definitely want to watch it. But back to my final point, or my final note here. So after all that, said and done, and you know Saki is also a little bit uh, optimistic about Kotoko. 
I'm guessing she thinks she might be, like, half human, half yokai or something. I don't know. We'll see what happens. She's like, who is this girl, and yada yada yada. Um. <laughs> and then the final uh, bit of words. She says, my name is Kotoko Iwanaga Kurosak Kurosako Agawi Senpai. This is current girlfriend. I'm like, what? I'm like, so you mean after that two and a half year time skip, you two actually do end up together? I'm like, I knew it was going to happen. I think we all know it's going to happen. Because we see this type of crap happen a lot in anime. But I'm like, I thought this was going to happen later on, not right now. I'm like, wow, I, I, I want to see how that came to be and whatnot. So that'll probably happen in Volume 2. This is probably going to be an anime series. Oh, anime. This is definitely going to be a manga series. I do reviews of every volume for. And uh, once again, I think... Um, I, I, I forget... Uh, sorry, I forget your name to the person who... I, I forgot the person's name who wanted me to review this, but I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's not the best review I could have done. I mean, it is my first. I wanted to avoid spoilers. I hope you go out and get it. I got uh, it's my Barnes and Noble. It was ten ninety nine. Since I'm a pro member, though, uh, pro member. Oh my gosh, this is a GameStop. Since I do, since I do have a membership, it was only nine ninety nine, which is awesome. Which is always nice. And I mean, it is easy to read. It's not as long as other manga. And I did notice that when I uh, did my manga haul video, I believe I did say it's one of these smaller manga volumes I have. But I really love the story, love the art, like all the characters we've met so far. And it's, it's a manga that's going to make you want to read more and more and more and find out what happens. I'm just going to be sad when I finish reading volume 2. But then I'll be like, ah, it's okay, I just have to wait a month instead of two. Plus I have a lot of other seri series I can read and get more volumes for and whatnot. But I do recommend Inspector. It is awesome, and don't worry. It's not heavy on the romance. You know, it's, it's very story-driven, though. So if you're the type of guy who loves a lot of action in your manga, wouldn't recommend this. At least not the first volume. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it's going to be uh, better down the line, but hope you guys enjoyed this review. I know this one's pretty sloppy and all. It is my first. Cut me some slack. <laughs> but um, like I said, I'll definitely do more of these in the future. I can do it for a comic con kill zero. Still haven't ran three yet. One, I have typed up ready to go. Volume two, I could pretty much talk about. I mean, it's still a little fresh in my mind. I'll probably just skim back and read it, but I know a lot of crazy uh, craziness happens in Volume 2 of Akami Got Kills Zero. So, it'll be easier to review than Volume 1, actually. But, I don't know, you guys let me know. And if you have a suggestion on a manga you want me to review, let me know in the comments below. Other than Toradora. Because I'm, I'm thinking about reviewing Toradora. I might not. It depends. I mean, it is an older anime. A lot of people know and love it, and I'm late on the, uh, I'm late to the party. <laughs> anyway, so that's going to do it. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. I hope to do more anime-related videos. I know yesterday I wanted to do one for my top five favorite romance animes. Not big on the genre, so that's why I only did top five. I just didn't like how it came out, though. Like, Mid midway through, I found out about some hockey news, and I rambled on about that for a little bit. And it just, it made me cringe after uh, recording. I'm like, wow, like this is pretty dumb. I could have done this a lot better, blah, blah, blah. So that's why I didn't get a Valentine's Day video yesterday. Originally, I was going to do my Ellie deck profile for Weiss. But, you know, my phone decided to uh, not let me record. I mean, it's fine today, and I could do that. Eh. I mean, I'm not going to do that video today, but I don't that that'll definitely be a future video down the line because I really want to show you guys that deck before I start uh, revamping it and whatnot. But enough of me rambling on. One thing I want to mention actually before 
the video is over. Uh, Fire Emblem Heroes. There are new uh, units. Four. Ephraim, Erica, Selif, and Julia. So they are now the uh, new focus units. Uh, you can pretty much get everybody else though, I believe. But those are the ones that have main... Th those are the ones that are focused on now. Although, so far I've done two um, summons. Like two full... Uh, Two full sessions, meaning, you know, you, you go through all five of your orbs. Um, my first one, I didn't get anybody really. Second one, I did get Julia, but she didn't have, like, a cool intro uh, animation like all the other focus do. I guess it's because she wasn't one of the top ten characters. I'm pretty sure if you get Ephraim or Erica, they will have... They will have, like, a special cutscene, I guess you could say. We'll, we'll, we'll say cutscene. They have a special cutscene, but... Yeah, I mean, I, I couldn't wait till after work <laughs> to, uh, you know, get new units, which is why you guys didn't see any, but it's fine. Plus, I'm glad I didn't, since we only got four characters and not as much as I thought. But anyway, you guys let me know how you're doing with that game. I got Krom the other day, and he's freaking awesome. What's my Krom at? I think he's at 19 or 20, and his attack is at 40. It's crazy. Julie also has high attack, and they say she's... Some say she's the best mage in the game. She's pretty awesome, though. I like using her. Can't wait to use her in the arena soon. I have her at... What have her at? 17 or 18, I think. <coughs> but anyway. This video is already long enough as is. I apologize. These won't be as long in the future. I mean, I'll be better prepared and whatnot. I feel like I rushed this one a bit, but that's alright. I mean, that's what, that's what also happens when you don't want to spoil too much. And I hope you guys appreciate that I didn't spoil too much. I can't say that's going to be every review I do, but for this one, like I said, I had to. Anyway, enough of me talking. Bye for now.